I thought about Commitment Sunday, and this is what my definition of commitment is. It's an action on our part in response to God. It was when we came back from Germany, Bill was in the service and I got to go with him, and we had a little four-month-old girl, our first, and so we started coming to church, not on a regular basis, but we would attend when we did not go out of town to visit grandparents with that little baby. And Reverend Hazelwood, which his picture is on the, one of the posters in the back, he would come to our house calling, and I think Bill was probably working second shift at that time, but he said to me, I told him, I said, he said, you know, we like having you and Bill come and the baby, and he said, we would like you to come regularly. And um, I said, well, we do go to church. We go down to Lewistown to the Nazarene church there. And um, he said, you know, Ruth, he said, you and Bill really need to get involved. And when he laughed, I thought, the nerve of him. <laughs> he should just be happy we're in church somewhere. <laughs> and so, um, we got involved, and we've been involved since then. That was back in 1968, I think, wasn't it, yes. when we came back from Germany. And um, when you do what, the God, what God calls you to do, puts on your heart a passion that he gives to you, um, the returns are so much more than what you could ever dream of and the spiritual benefits of his blessings far outweigh any sacrifice on your part, whether it's time, money, or whatever, but we have learned to trust him to provide. Uh, I'm thinking back to a time when we were in transition from the church at Richmond and Lynn and this building. We were renting the facility at uh, but Bergen High School at that time, now Notre Dame. And uh, Maury Ritter, a great saint of God, challenged us to double tithe to support our building program. Well, we had a six-year-old and a three-year-old, and boy, that was quite a challenge, you know, because we needed every penny, but God provided. and. Uh, there's time and time again, babysitting jobs or whatever that would come up to provide for the gap. Uh, it was just wonderful. Um, also, as our kids were getting a little bit bigger, we sent them to Peoria Christian School. Again, being an analyst, I like to work things out on paper. <laughs> we couldn't do it on paper. <laughs> Could not do it but God provided. So, we just say, trust, trust God, God to, to provide. provide.